Christmas is not a time or a season, but a state of mind. To cherish peace and goodwill, to be plenteous in mercy, is to have the real spirit of Christmas. With these words of Calvin College, it's a true honor to welcome one and all for our virtual Christmas celebration 2020. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one-hand shop and sleigh. Hey, Afsha, looks like you're in a jolly mood. Exactly. Come December, Christ's birth is celebrated in a grand manner, especially in the Western countries. Oh, I see. That's why even our teachers are ready to announce the birth of Jesus Christ through the prayer song. Christmas is the season for kindling the fire of hospitality in the hall and the genial flame of charity in the heart. I now call upon my friend Abja to welcome the gathering. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Soon the bells will start and the things will make them ring with the carols that you sing right within your heart. With these poetic lines, I have the fact of grade 9. Welcome everyone to this virtual Christmas celebration 2020. There is no name to sweet in earth, no name to sweet in heaven. The name before his mother's birth, the Christ, the Savior given. This Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. To make this day a memorable one for us, we are pleased to have with us Evangelist Maxwell Lazarus, founder of God of Ministries, Chennai, as our chief guest. How do you welcome to you, sir? A respectable welcome to our magnanimous director, sir, director, academics ma'am, beloved principal ma'am, first and vice principal, sir, senior headships, headships, agents, teachers, students, and their families. I wish this day is an onset of values of understanding and generosity. Let us open our eyes to witness the love of God towards mankind the birth of Jesus. It is an occasion to turn our eyes beyond the mirror to experience the same compassion and affection for which Jesus took birth in this very earth and for whom the only religion was to do good. Hope you all enjoy this day. I am once again welcoming you all from the depth of my heart. Welcome, welcome, welcome one and all. Well, Abja, I trust there would be lots of fun, partying, dance, carols, and what not. Right, Denise. But Christ took a very humble birth. Let's know more about his birth through the scripture reading in English and Tamil. The scripture portion for this special occasion is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, 
chapter 2 verses from 1 to 16. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus to all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the ta city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, watch keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Praise be to God. Luka in the association, Renda Madigarum, Wontumutal Padanar Mudia. A Nat Kilile, Ulaga Mengum, Kudimadipu Yerda Padavendi Mendre, Agustura in Al Katale Pirandadi, Syria Natile, Sirenui and Bavan, Desadi Padia Yiranda Bodhi, in the Mudalam Kudimadipu, Undaitri, and the Padi, Kudimadipur the Padambadiki, Elarum Tangal Tangal Urgulak Ponargal. Apur the Yosepum, Tan Davidin Mamsatanum, Kurumatanama in the Badinale, Tanaka Manivia and Emeka Pate, Garbodiana Maria Ludane, Kudima the Perdambadi, Galeria Natilula, Nazareth Turilende, Udea Natilula, Bethlehem in Davidin Urukuponan, Avidatele, our Lirkail, our Laki Prasava Kalam Neritade, our Tan Mother Perana Kumarani Petri, Chatretele, our Laki Demila the Vendabadinal, Pile Tunigal Chutri, Munanile Katatinal. Upper the and the Natile Mapergal, Bailvelil Tangi, Rathrile Tangal Mande Kathu Kundirandagal, Availagil, Kartrudia Tudan, Avraglatil Vandanindran, Kartrudia Magime, Avragla Chutil and Pragasitadi, Avragal Migavum Bayandargal, Deva Tudan Avragal Noki, Bayapara Diringal, Ido, Yella Janatukum, Migan the Sandoshite Undakum, Narchedi Ungluk Arivikirin, Indri, Kartraya Christian Rachagar, Ungaluk, Davidin Urile Pirandirkar, Pillay Tunigal Chutri, Munani le Keratrika Kan Birgal, Idiwe Ungluk Adiala Mendan, Anda Shaname, Paramasani in Tiral, Anda Tudanodane Tondri, Unna the Tilirka Devanak Magimayum, Bumi ile Samadanamum, Manishan Mel Piriam Mundava Daga, Endosoli, Devani to the Targal, Deva Tudagal, Avaglavit to Parlogatuk Pona Pindu, Maypergal Vurvare Vurvar Noki, Nam, Bethlehem Urukupoi, Nanada Daga Katra Namuke, Arvika Pata in the Karate, Parpum, Warangal and Soli. Tivaramai Vandi, Maria Yum, Yosep Payim, Munani Katrika Pilayim Kandargal in Bade. Avja, could you tell me why people hang stars in their houses? Yes, Sinis, you can see stars everywhere in our streets during Christmas season. It is believed that star was a miraculous sign to mark the birth of Christ, the Messiah. Miraculous sign? Yes, the wise men from the east were led to the birthplace of Jesus, only by a star. Guided by a star? Well, you can understand it better through the video on the Nativity scene. Jingle bells, jingle bells, I love Christmas and I love Santa. Me too, but Tofu, do you know we call it Christmas because Jesus Christ was born that day? Really? No, but now you tell me. Please tell me a Christmas story. Tell me Jesus Christ's birthday story. Today, I'll tell you the most wonderful story of them all. The birth of Jesus Christ. The Christmas Story About 2,000 years ago, in a small town called Nazareth, 
there was a little house where lived a young Jewish girl named Mary. She was not married. But she was going to be real soon. To a good man named Joseph. Well, one day, something amazing happened. An angel of the Lord's, Gabriel, a very important angel, appeared to Mary. Who are you? I am Gabriel. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. He loves you very much. God has sent me here to tell you that soon you'll have a son. Huh? Me? A son? Yes, a son. He will be called Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God. Mary was very obedient and she said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May God do with me as he wants to. Mary wanted to do just as God told her to do. Just near the time Mary was about to have her baby, the Roman Emperor sent soldiers to announce a new law. Okay, listen everyone. The Emperor Caesar Augustus says that all of you need to pay some taxes now and register for census. So Mary and Joseph made their way to Bethlehem because that's where Joseph had to pay taxes. It was about 65 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And the trip took many, many days. And when they reached Bethlehem, guess what happened? All the places were full. All the inns were full. Mary, you wait here. Make yourself comfortable. By then, I will try to find a suitable place for us to stay. Joseph kept knocking and knocking again and again. He had been looking and looking for a place to stay. was about to have a baby. Well, I have tried almost all the inns and it looks like all of them are full. Dear Mary, how do you feel? I am very tired, Joseph. But please don't worry. I am sure God will provide a place for us. Poor Joseph and Mary were so tired and didn't know what to do. Oh God, tell me what to do. Help me. I have no idea, no clue. It's sad that Mary and Joseph had no place to stay. No place to go. A place no one would have expected the Son of God to be born in. It wasn't a palace, not some castle, not in a fancy building either. God's son was born in a humble small stable. Ah! Ah! 
I'll go and get some fresh hay where you can sleep comfortably tonight. That night, Jesus was born. And oh, it was a wonderful night. Big star shining in the sky. There was no crib, so they laid baby Jesus in a manger. It was full of fresh hay and made it a little comfortable for the baby. <laughs> Near Bethlehem, that night there were some shepherds keeping watch over their flocks of sheep. When suddenly, an angel appeared to them. I have good news for you. There is a saviour who has been born. What? Really? What saviour? Can we see him? Where is he? The angel told them where to find him. The shepherds were so excited and happy. They ran to the stable. Jesus there, just as the angel had told them. After they had seen Jesus, they spread the news and everyone who heard was in wonder. In wonder, just like you are. Doesn't it sound magical, Tofu? So magical and fun, Tia. I am happy the angels took care of them all. Joseph, Mary and baby Jesus. Thank you for telling me the Christmas story. I'll tell it to everyone in my school tomorrow. That'll be great, Tofu. I love telling you new stories. But be careful and don't fall off that ladder. There are no angels here to save you. <laughs> you are my angel. I'll always love you, Tofu. Merry Christmas. Abja, now that I know why people hang stars, could you tell me why people have decorated trees at home? Decorated trees? You mean Christmas tree? Christmas tree is a decorated tree that symbolizes Christ. It exalts the value of life as in winter, whatever is evergreen becomes a sign of undying life and it remains Christians with the tree of life, an image of Christ, the supreme gift of God to humanity. Oh my, I never knew so much was associated with a Christmas tree. You sound very knowledgeable. Am I? Thank you. But let's listen to what teacher saying before we converse further. Yeah. 
saw bells hanging in all sizes. I just thought it was another decorative piece. Not just for decoration. The bells of Christmas are rung to announce the arrival of the season, to proclaim the birth of Christ. Well, our songsters are here to proclaim the birth of Christ. Let's listen to the jingling voices in harmony for us. the true reason of Christmas. You are right. Let's watch our chief guest, Evangelist Maxwell Lazarus, Word of God Ministries, Chennai, to share the real joy of Christmas with us. It's a great joy to meet you, dear parents, children, beloved teachers, and loved ones of Belamal School. I'm so happy and thrilled in my heart, and I feel it's a great privilege to share the word of God about the birth of Jesus. My dear beloved ones, the birth of Jesus is not a just an accident. More than 700 years before, there was a man of God called Isaiah and he prophesied about the birth of Jesus that there will be a Messiah born on this world and he will deliver the people from darkness, from sin and from all their worries. 
just according to the prophecy that are made 700 years before according to the fulfillment of the promise Jesus came into this world as an ordinary human being when I think about this I remember a wonderful story there was a priest who went to have bathed in a river he saw an ant had fallen from the tree branch into the river and it was almost getting drowned in the water the priest was so much moved with compassion so he took a stick and he stretched towards the ant but the ant got feared and went much more deeper into the water so he did not know what to do so he thought for a while and he did a prayer and he changed himself to become an ant and he spoke in the language of ant to that ant the ant understood and came to safety and saved it from that drowning into the water yes the same way God God came into this world in the form of an ordinary human being to deliver to bless and to fill the people heart and life with goodness when I think about this I remember a wonderful words Luke chapter 2 verse 10 and 11 an angel of God that came to tell the birth of Jesus you know how it said it says like this the angel of God said fear not behold I bring a good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you he is born this day in the city of David a savior which is Christ the Lord dear beloved ones the angel of God said this message with great rejoice the birth of Jesus it's not only a great rejoice to the, the world it is also a great rejoice to the heavenlies that is why Christmas is celebrated with great joy, with great celebration. You know why? God came into this world to be with us. Many times we look at the situation, we are so much worried. Christmas reminds us that you are not alone. There is a God who loves you. There is a God who stands beside you. There is a God who is there to help you and he is always with you. Emmanuel means God is with us. Yes. Remember, Christmas reminds us we are not alone. God is with us. Shall we close our eyes and pray? Let us pray. A gracious Heavenly Father, I pray for all the management. Lord, I bless the family. I bless the teachers. I bless the students. Whatever might be the worries, whatever might be the fear that is in them, remove the fear. Let them know that they are not alone. Let them know that there is a God who understands. There is a God who loves and He is always with us. I bless them in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Christmas reminds us we are not alone. There is a God who is always with us. Emmanuel, He will take care of everything. God bless you. Wish you a happy Christmas and a blessed New Year. Amen. Anis, do you want to know more about the Jolly Man in Red? Jolly Man? Mm, you mean Santa? Absolutely. The legend of Santa Claus can be traced back to hundreds of years ago to a priest named Saint Nicholas, who was much admired for his pity and kindness. It is said that he gave away all his inherited wealth to help the poor and the sick. Oh, that's why Santa and Gibbs are connected. Of course. There is also a tradition of hanging stockings or sock-shaped bags on Christmas Eve for Santa to fill it with small toys, candies and fruits. Well, how nice if Santa was here now. Christmas without Santa? Impossible. Coming now is the fun part of this celebration with Santa's dancing all around.
this is the will of God, says the Bible. I now invite my friends in the street to propose a word of thanks to every soul for making this celebration a grand success. Christmas is not as much about opening our presents as opening our hearts. It's a season of love, peace and happiness. With these words, I, Sindhushu of grade 8, feel privileged to give a formal vote of thanks. Gratitude helps us to grow and expand our personality as a person. Gratitude brings joy and laughter into our life and into the life of all others around us. The manner of feeling thanks is more precious than a valuable gift on earth. With thanks to God Almighty for bringing us all together for the celebration, I extend my thanks to our chief guest evangelist, Maxwell Lazarus, founder of God of Ministries Chennai, who have adorned the celebration, inspiring us with a wonderful Christmas message. Thank you, sir. We also offer our thanks to our magnanimous director, sir, dynamic director, academics, ma'am, benevolent principal, ma'am, versatile vice principal, sir, all HMs, AHMs and teachers who keep encouraging and providing us a lot of opportunities to expose our talent even during this pandemic. Thank you, madam and sirs. My special thanks to all my dear friends and their families. Let us all appreciate everyone for their wonderful work. Nothing get materialized out of nowhere. Thank you all. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. With this biblical quote, we, we wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy New Year. New Year.